is Texas Today producer Zoe De Rosario. Yeah, good morning to you, Zoe. I hear that we do have a lot to unpack this morning. We're talking about the Lady Bears. They are on the road. And some of our players, they are headed to the NFL Combine. That's right, Micah. So exciting. A lot, like you said, a lot to unpack. So let's get started. Your playbook starts right now. It was the women's turn now to get a win against Oklahoma, but the Big 12 leaders ended up getting the best out of the Bears. Baylor fighting their way back to keep it within four points in the fourth, but turnovers quickly got in the way. Players couldn't hit shots at the end, and the Sooners take this one 84 to 73. The Bears now turn their focus to play state rivals Texas Tech on Sunday when Brittany Griner's jersey will be retired. Now let's switch things over to the gridiron. Five Aggies and one Baylor Bear are headed to Indianapolis. They all secured their invite to the NFL Combine. AM's wide receiver Enya Smith, offensive lineman Layden Robinson, McKinley Jackson on the D-line, All-American linebacker Ed Garen Cooper, safety Demani Richardson, and for Baylor, Gabe Hall. They will all have a chance to prove they belong in an NFL roster. And a team, and a team who could certainly be interested in more firepower, defensive firepower, is none other than the Cowboys. The team formal, formally introduced the man who will lead their defense next season, Mike Zimmer. And now it's back to the future, guys, for the 67-year-old as he returns to a team which he helped get a Super Bowl trophy. Zimmer took the chance to clear his name yesterday. There's a reputation out there that I'm the jerk or something like that, which hey, it is what it is, I guess. But since it was announced that I was going to be here, I've heard from so many players that played for me. Uh, I think if I was such a jerk, I wouldn't be hearing from those guys. Well, guys, that that is, you know, exciting times for the Cowboys. Let's see how it plays out. And now let's take things to the ballpark. The Rangers starting from scratch, leaving the post World Series celebrations in the back burner because pitchers and catchers are now in Arizona for spring training and time to get another title. It's tough to win a World Series, just like win a Super Bowl. It's even tougher to do it back to back, you get that, but we just saw it happen, so, you know, hey, we're gonna keep doing what we've been doing. Right, you heard that. You heard that. So hopefully, guys, if it, if it's anything like last year, I'm all for it. You know, I would love to see the Rangers get yeah. another World Series titles, but it's a, it's a long season ahead, so we'll yeah. see what happens. I mean, this that just, was your playbook. <laughs> all right, Zoe. We know this is just the beginning for that. It took them 50 plus years to get mm -hmm. that one, so people are hoping they come back even stronger to get another one. Yeah, hopefully back to back uh, titles, championships. That'd be cool, just like the Kansas City Chiefs. That's right. <laughs>